Today's obituaries are brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. Funeral service for Edgar Allen Newman, age 79, of Hansville, will be this afternoon at 4 o'clock at Hansville Funeral Home Chapel, interment with military honors in Hopewell Cemetery. Graveside services for Marnell White, age 83, of Hansville, will be this morning at 11 at Valley Springs Cemetery. Visitation will be from 9 until 10.30 at Cullman Funeral Home. Funeral Mass for Carl William Beigel, age 75, will be tomorrow, Friday, at 10 o'clock, Sacred Heart Catholic Church. Burial will be in the Catholic Cemetery. The family will receive friends this evening at 6.30 at Sacred Heart Church. Rosary will begin at 8 p.m. Moss Service Funeral Home is directing. Funeral service for Elvis D. Ray, age 91, will be tomorrow, Friday, at 2 o'clock at Moss Service Funeral Home Chapel. Interment will be in Flint Creek Cemetery. Visitation will be this evening from 6.30 to 9 at Moss Service Funeral Home. Funeral service for Mary Armstrong Malden, age 54, of Bremen, will be tomorrow, Friday, at 2 o'clock at Hansville Funeral Home Chapel. Visitation will be 5.30 to 9 at Hansville Funeral Home. Funeral service for Agnes Southern Tucker, age 82, of Cullman, will be tomorrow, Friday, at 2 o'clock at Pleasant Grove Baptist Church. The body will lie in state from noon until 2 at the church. Interment will be in Enon Baptist Cemetery. Graveside service for Richard Cub Hanners, age 71, of Cullman, will be Saturday at 1 o'clock at Duck River Baptist Church Cemetery. Visitation Saturday from 10 until noon at Moss Service Funeral Home. Graveside service for Robert R. Lorenz will be Saturday at 2 o'clock at Cullman City Cemetery. Visitation will be Saturday from noon until 2 at Cullman Funeral Home. Memorial service for Susan Benita Watson, age 60 of Hansville, will be Saturday at 2 o'clock at 320 County Road 34 in Hansville. Cullman Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. And those are our obituaries for today, brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. Bank presents today on two. It is Thursday, the ninth day of April. A beautiful morning. Almost feels like summer, doesn't it? It does. It was in the 80s yesterday. Oh, it's hot More yesterday. The same today, hot already. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Hot already yesterday. Yep. Short, short spring. We just go right into summer, it seems mm -hmm. like. However, be aware of storms tomorrow. Storms tomorrow. Storms okay. tomorrow. There's uh, a front coming through and well, we want to know what it's like April in mm -hmm. Alabama, so be aware of what may happen tomorrow. Let's start with the weather forecast brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet on Cherokee Avenue. The weather almanac for the 9th of April, the average high is 72. The record high was 89 uh, just a couple years ago in 2011. And the average low is 48, the record low 28 in 1914. Sunset will be about 7.15, sunrise tomorrow morning at 6.22. Here's the satellite picture. You can see what's going on around the southeast. And here's our forecast for today. It will be another warm and humid day, a high of 83, just a slight chance of rain. Uh, we could probably expect partly cloudy skies today. For tonight, a 50% chance of rain. Again, a very mild low, 66. 
For tomorrow, it isn't going to warm up very much. 90% chance of showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. Saturday, noticeably cooler. It should be a great day on Saturday, mm -hmm. really. Uh, nice. Plenty of sunshine, a high of 72, and it'll be in the 70s with a chance of rain uh, next week. Typical weather for the month of April. Yeah. But uh, anyway, be prepared for anything tomorrow. May have some okay. severe storms. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about our Facebook friend of the day. Who's our friend for Let's today? Our Facebook friend today is Joelle Brooks, and she likes Top Chef and Newsboys. So thank you, Miss Joelle, for being our Facebook friend. And we are going to give you a large barbecue sandwich from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue for um, liking us on Facebook. And don't forget, our Facebook friends and our Twitter followers receive this barbecue sandwich. So just like us on Facebook or uh, follow us on Twitter for your chance to win. We have been talking with Tahani the last several weeks about mm -hmm. the Wallace production of Into the Woods. Tonight is yes, the night. Yes, we open tonight. Uh, we have a really uh, solid last dress rehearsal tomorrow. There's a couple of little um, hiccups with the orchestra, but that's not anything on the fault of the orchestra, obviously. Uh -huh. the, these guys are pros. We are just not used to them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, when you rehearse one way for so long, it can be hard to learn it completely differently in a week. Or well, and, and also, most of you have never performed with live musicians like an orchestra. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most of our productions will have, you know, piano, drums, um, maybe a bass and like a mm -hmm. horn section. That's yeah. usually, I think for Shrek, that's all we had. Um, for this, it, it is an 11-piece orchestra. We've got strings, mm -hmm. we've got flutes, we've got so many instruments that I have, like, can't even name, you know, <laughs> looking at. And these guys are pros like they mm -hmm. they sound great and so even if you don't come you know if you don't like the show if you don't like live theater come and listen to the orchestra because if there I don't think there are any moments where they're not playing or getting ready to play there they're, the moments that you don't hear music are very few and far between so if you're a music lover this is a great show because it's so complex and so interesting that even if you hate the show you'll be like wow that was really good music. Are there any songs in this production that are people are going to say, oh, I know that one? Mm, maybe. There might be a couple of the witches songs that people know. Stay With okay. Me is pretty um, pretty popular. Um, Agony, possibly. That is a duet between Cinderella's Prince and Rapunzel's Prince, and it's kind of the best known from this okay. show, and it was um, the best received probably from the movie version. Uh -huh. um, the way that they staged it has gotten a lot of acclaim and it's very funny. So if they know any of them, they'll probably know that. Okay. Or the Into the Woods, da 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 da, the main, the main theme that we okay. sing. You've probably, you might have heard those, but if you're not interested in theater, you might not have. So okay. it might be, you know, for this area, it's a really new kind of show because it's not the kind of thing you see very often in Coleman. Okay. Uh, Showtime, 7 o'clock tonight, Seven Beverly tonight. Haynes Theater. You can buy tickets at the door. They're $10. Um, that's for students and for adults. It's just $10 flat. starts at 7. Um, doors open at 6.30, and it starts at 7 Friday night and Saturday night, and then Sunday afternoon at 2. You can get tickets for all of those shows at the door. How often do you get to see a Broadway production for $10? You don't. That is a bargain. It, it, really, it really is. And this really could be one of the best shows we've ever done. Yeah. I, I, I really... It's like, it's right up there, uh -huh. honestly. I really, it's got so much potential, and really all we need is that audience. It's like adding that other character that's been missing from all the rehearsals, and it just becomes a totally different show once you put it in front of an audience. So I'm very excited to see how it's gonna go and what's gonna happen tonight. Okay, tonight, the first show. Who's our guest? We have two guests for us We have today. two. First, we have Miss Nan Austin, and she's going to be talking about the uh, Pilot Club Luncheon that's coming up here in a couple of weeks. And then we have Miss Cherie Haney, and she's going to be telling us about the City County Cleanup, also coming up in really soon, just in a couple of days, I think. Mm -hmm. Come uh, a week from Saturday. Yeah. Okay, that's what we have lined up. We'll talk to Nan about the Pilot Club Fashion Show right after this. I remember the moment clearly. I'll never forget that moment. As long as I live. I realized that moment. When we first saw the damage, these people really needed us. And I was going to make a difference right here in my community. Together with local responders, we cleared trees and collapsed walls. We had to get to the family trap beneath. As a citizen soldier, I made a difference. 
be there for your community at NationalGuard.com. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. I always know spring is here when we're going to talk about the Pilot Club mm -hmm. Fashion Show. Yep. Nan Austin is our guest today. Thank you for being with us, Nan. Thank you for having us. For people who are not familiar, why is the Pilot Club Fashion Show such an eagerly awaited event? Because it, it always sells out. It always does. We always have uh, over 400 women there. Uh huh. And. Uh, they want to see the new fashions and have a box lunch and uh, we have vendors there where they can shop a little before the lunch starts. Uh, it's just a good thing to get out and see all your friends and have a, have a couple of hours to do a, what I call a woman thing. Well, you're kind of covering all the bases, aren't you? You're, you're shopping, lunch, fashions. Mm -hmm. And we have door prizes. Door prizes, Wonderful okay. door prizes. Um, okay, give us the date and location. Um, it's at the Civic Center, and it's uh, April the 22nd. Mm -hmm. and the door is open at 11, and we have vendors who will have some of the things that uh, they sell mm -hmm. in their shops and you can shop there. Now are the door prizes you mentioned, are they coming from these vendors or are they going to be coming from different places? In the different country? places. Uh, we have a couple of grand prizes from some of the jewelry stores oh. and cash and then uh, the different merchants around town mm -hmm. uh, will donate something and uh, from their shops and um, a service or a, an item mm -hmm. or several items and women just love this. It's mm -hmm. like Christmas in yeah. the springtime. <laughs> and uh, this of course is a fundraiser for the Pilot yes. Club. Uh, what do you use the money for? Well I brought this paper because I could not remember everything I was afraid. <laughs> it's a little early for me but uh, we uh, assist with service and financial support to the Pilot Light Home, which is a home for uh, abused and neglected children. Okay. And uh, Project Lifesaver, which, uh, you know, the bracelets that you can put on people who uh, may not can think too clearly, maybe they have uh, dementia or mm -hmm. Alzheimer's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a quick way to find them. Mm -hmm. okay. We, we mm -hmm get those bracelets and the Margaret Jean Jones Center for the De Developmentally Disabled. Uh, we uh, have two, we have a Christmas party for them. We had uh, Santa Claus came and saw them this year and they loved it. <laughs> and uh, we have them a little uh, hot dog cookout in the spring. And we have Brain Minders, which is a program to teach elementary school children how to prevent uh, head injuries and to, you know, which results in brain damage. That's, mm -hmm. people haven't thought a lot about that, but it's something to think about. And we, mm -hmm. we teach them that. And uh, we have an Alzheimer's support group, the Field of Miracles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We support them and we okay. help out with functions there. This year it's rodeo. 
-hmm. which is in the spring, which is countywide. Mm -hmm. We we serve lunches. We make buy and fix hot dog lunches for them, and uh, the Special Olympics countywide. We okay. we support them, and we work. We work at all of these. You are a very things. active club. We yeah. are. We have a lot of active, wonderful, caring, generous uh -huh. women, and and we uh, we love doing this. Now let's talk about getting tickets for the fashion show because it usually sells out. It so does. People want to get tickets ahead of time. Mm -hmm. uh, you can contact any pilot club member or. Um, I forget where the tickets are now. Sorry, Peggy. <laughs> um, but they could call uh, me and I can direct them. Okay. And my number is 256-338-5299. And I don't mind if you call me uh, and ask me where you can get tickets or who you can see. I'll be glad to. Are there also tables that are sold like to businesses that have several women that work there? Do they do that? Um, that's a very good question. But I would think so. If you have like 10 or 12 mm -hmm. or 15, you may yeah. can block off an area. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, they're usually in a row. But, but then you may can get a table over here for, yeah, I think so, mm -hmm. for your okay. business. And a lot of businesses do that. Right. Uh -huh. And if you... Uh, if you don't want to go or can't go, buy a ticket and give it to your mother or your sister or somebody yeah. who wants to go but mm -hmm. maybe couldn't. Mm -hmm. Because it's just a fun thing. It's a fun thing and this is one of our main uh, money making projects and we work months on this. But we love it. And this year we're going to have a surprise. I'm in charge of the uh, actual fashion show, the models and things, and uh, I decided to do something a little different, so they, everybody needs to come and see what's going to be different this year. We can't talk you into giving us a hint? Oh, let me think. <laughs> <laughs> just well, buy a ticket and show up. And buy a ticket and find <laughs> out. <laughs> now, the tickets are not available at the door, right? You need to have them ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There will be no tickets left to have at the door okay. because they yeah. sell out. Uh -huh. As a matter of fact, I sold two this morning. <laughs> You're Thank on you. The wall. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that's uh, in two weeks. Two weeks from the twenty second. The uh -huh. doors open at Civic eleven. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Nan. Thank you. We'll be back and talk to Cherie Haney about the uh, city county cleanup, PALS cleanup, right after this. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. With classic bolognese behind you, there are racks of lamb ahead. There are tartlets to take on and crazy knife skills to perfect. There is you and your muse, the appliance brand more chefs choose. Chefs choose KitchenAid for their homes more than any other brand. And when every machine does incredible things, there's so much more to make. Another sure sign of spring, the city, county cleanup. Mm -hmm. Cherie Haney with the Economic Development, County Economic Development Committee. Right. Back to talk about PALS cleanup. 
house cleanup. Watch, uh, watch the date. It, it's April the 18th, and it's from 8 till 12. Uh, you can clean up all day. We just like to set a time frame mm -hmm. so that uh, people will get out there and do it. I like to go around and take pictures so because yeah. we, it is a little competition between the different counties in the state. Oh, okay. uh, and so uh, last year we picked up about eight tons of garbage. That's a lot of garbage, yes. uh, but now we have a lot of volunteers uh, that come out and help. All the municipalities help. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, several groups help, like TJ Maxx, Walmart Distribution, uh, just several different ones. The Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, different mm -hmm. ones get out and clean up that day, and it doesn't have to actually be that day. Uh, as long as they they clean up and they turn their numbers in, we get to count it. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. And uh, but we want them to clean up every day. Right. That, 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 <laughs> that's, that's, goal. A, that's our goal is for people to understand how important it is to keep our roadways clean because economic development is bringing industry and retail. Mm -hmm. Look at our retail mm -hmm. that has yeah. come, and they don't come here if they don't see clean streets mm -hmm. and they that's don't. Right clean roads so we need to take pride in Coleman County mm -hmm. and know that we need to keep it all clean so actually yeah. people can start cleaning up any time that particular day there's dumpsters available correct uh, we've got dumpsters and there there's a list of them uh, we've got them at West Elementary East Elementary Coleman High School Cold Springs School Bayleton Town Hall Colony Community Center Crane Hill Sulphur Springs uh, Dodge City Fire Station Fairview Community Park, Garden City, their, their maintenance area, Good Hope Town Hall, Hansville behind City Hall, Holly Pond, Lions Club Park, Jones Chapel School, Vinemont Baptist Church, and West Point Town Hall. So they're everywhere. Nobody has an excuse to not get out and pick up. Also, if they need uh, bags to pick up, PALS, the State PALS uh, office provides the bags. You can pick them up at any town hall, or you can come to my office, and we've got some there. So we, we, we try to make it as easy as possible, uh, you know, so. Uh, that For people who aren't familiar, tell us where your office is, because boy, is it a beautiful building. We're at 325 2nd Street Southeast. Uh, that is the old First Federal Bank building. Right. Uh, okay. For you older people like me, <laughs> <laughs> they know that you probably don't remember that. No. So, <laughs> uh, but it's easy to find. Uh -huh. uh, it, it, so, but 325 2nd Street Southeast, and so. Uh, it's the, the same block as Richter Paint Store. It is, right that's beside. How I that, that's tell that's a good one, uh, a block behind the Catholic Church. That's yeah. always a good mm -hmm. uh -huh. I like landmarks. I, yes. It took me forever <laughs> to learn to give directions other than landmarks uh, because when you grow up here, mm -hmm. that's what you have. That's what you have. <laughs> and now, is there a restriction on items that it cannot be yes, brought to the dumpsters? Yes. Uh, no tires, paint, you have to mix sand with the paint uh, so that it's not, any uh, chemical, you, you you can, we can't take chemicals, mm -hmm. but paint is one that they say if you mix sand or kitty litter or something with it to make it a solid, then oh. it can be taken. Okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, there. But no tires, please do not, because that that anything that's hazardous that that we can't take, and um, so and that's on our flyer uh, that. It's very limited, though. You know, can't take mm -hmm. tires, but it did say paint. But they did tell us that that was the way that so we could take paint. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Well, it, not with water. You think it has mm -hmm. to be sand, dirt, uh, kitty litter, something that'll make it a solid. Okay. And so, because it is a chemical, mm -hmm. and uh, so, and they can't take chemicals. Um, not many places can take chemicals. Every now and then, there's a area where you can take your old chemicals to dispose of them because mm -hmm. we don't want to contaminate our land. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we want it to be nice and clean and uh, pristine for our future generations. We want it to be here for you yeah. and um, and your generation. So, uh, so that's what we're doing. That's right. <laughs> and the dumpsters, so this will be a week from Saturday Correct. on the 18th at the various locations. Is there a website that people can go to or Facebook or something? We are working on a website and I, hopefully that will be up very soon. I've, I've working with my IT person in my office to get that done. He, he's, he's got it very close to being 
complete, but mm -hmm. we're a little bit slow, but we'll, we'll get there. Uh, well, we we do have a Facebook, it. though. Okay. Pals has this Facebook, okay. and so you can go on there and uh, see all that stuff. And uh, But we'll have this. Uh, the, our flyers are up at several locations. Most, mm -hmm. uh, all of our you, uh, municipalities have them mm -hmm. up okay. at city, county, uh, you know, all all your municipalities. If you've got a mayor, then you've got a. Oh. a, a <laughs> there's a flyer somewhere. There, there's a flyer somewhere because they they've got it. Uh, they, and they're wonderful. Uh, I I want to brag on Coleman. Our municipalities work so well together, mm -hmm. and their number one priority is to keep Coleman clean. Uh, most of them have hired people to keep their uh, their area clean, and so. This makes this job a little bit easier because then all we have to do is outside their boundaries. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, if we could get those people down at the lake, <laughs> <laughs> because I get more calls and more emails about roads down at the lake. So, uh, if people would, uh, well, a lot of people don't think about when you throw it on the back of a pickup truck, mm -hmm. it's going to fly out. Yeah. And I think more of it's that than anything else, and um, they really need to think about that mm -hmm. because it, put it in a garbage bag, tie it down tight, you know, get it to a dumpster somewhere so yeah. that it doesn't fly out of the back of your truck. So uh, and end up on our roads, and they have to pick it up. Oh, yeah, we have we have a lot of adopt a miles down at the lake, but. We need, if everybody would adopt a mile, then we wouldn't have there any trouble. Go. We wouldn't have to have a spring cleanup. There, it would always be clean. <laughs> we would love that. So Very good. Thank you, Cherie. Thank you. We appreciate it. Y'all get out there and clean up. <laughs> okay. We'll be back with more right after this. I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color. To see it. To feel it. To be in it. To be upon it. And to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. continue with more of today on two time to give away our prizes for today at least we hope we can do that let's, do let's see what we have we have the large five topping pizza from Coleman Pizza Hut and we have a free haircut courtesy of hair by Loretta those are the prizes for today here we go with some of our ads we'll ask you a question of course about one of these ads and we're going to start with Grand Point Pharmacy and the gift shop. They make managing your prescriptions easy because managing your health is hard enough. Grand Point Pharmacy on Highway 31 North. Mullins Body Shop is who you've counted on for over 50 years for auto body repair and service. You can still count on them today. Call Sunny, Stacy, Beth, or Jen at 734-1353. Mr. Hicks Men's Wear and Formal Wear. Lots of activities going on at Mr. Hicks right now because of the proms and weddings coming up this summer. Your prom tuxedo destination, Mr. Hicks Men's Wear. Hair by Loretta. Miss Loretta is a color specialist and offers hair care for the whole family. Her location is the Bella Fair Day Spa and Salon and she works Wednesday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. 
Berkeley Bob's Coffee House and Whole Earth Store. Live folk music, baked goods and smoothies, as well as your favorite coffees. Entertainment coming up both tomorrow night and on Saturday night. Tires for Less offers Bridgestone and Firestone tires, but they also do oil changes, minor engine repair, shocks and brakes, and alignments. They're open Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Go see Greg and the guys at Tires for Less. Pizza Hut has the all-you-can-eat lunch buffet with a different pizza every day, priced at just $5.99. Pizza Hut on 2nd Avenue North. Deb's Bookstore is your hometown bookstore. She's just down the road. And browsers are always welcome. She offers gift certificates. Used books are half price every day. And new books are 20% off every day at Deb's Bookstore. Okay, here we go with our question for today. Uh, Earl's Body Shop mentions in their ad that they are an award winner. Mm -hmm. What did they win the award for at Earl's Body Shop? Hmm. Voted best okay. of... Watch the category, gotcha. Earl's Body Shop. And um, it might fool you. It isn't yeah. exactly what you might think it would be. Yeah. 256-734-7399 is our telephone number. And we have pizza from the Coleman Pizza Hut. And we have a free haircut to courtesy of Loretta at Hair by Loretta. Give us a call while we watch Money Matters, brought to you by Premier Bank. <laughs> Hi, I'm Caitlin with Premier Bank, and this is Allison Lewis. She's our Good Hope Office Manager. Today, Allison's going to tell us a little bit about what it takes to get a car loan. I want to talk to the young people out there who are approaching their 16th birthday and they're thinking about purchasing their first car. One thing that you may not know is that most institutions do require a down payment, which is a percentage of the purchase price paid in cash by you. And the more your vehicle costs, the more your down payment's going to be. So as you approach your 16th birthday, be thinking about how you can save your money so that you'll be prepared to pay your down payment. If you have any questions, you can stop by our Good Hope office and see Allison, or you can come by any of our other eight locations or give us a call at 256-737-9900. Thanks, and we hope to see you soon. Okay, let's see if we can give away our prizes for today. Again, the question, Earl's Body Shop was voted award winner. <clears throat> What's the category? What did they win in what category? And we have a caller on the line. Hello, who's calling? Johnny. From where are you calling? Bird City. Okay, what, did, uh, what category did Earl's Body Shop win? Earl's Body Shop. Okay, that's, go, that's close enough. We'll let you have it for that. Stay on the line, please. Thanks for calling in. Yes, Earl's Body Shop voted best in automotive repair. Hmm. Let's look at that ad and the rest of our merchant ads right now. Starting with done right taxes and bookkeeping services. By the way, the deadline to file your taxes is next Wednesday. Hmm. So if you want to be one of these last minute filers, go buy done right taxes. Steel Orchard offer, gives you the highest quality products at the lowest possible price since 1985. You can check out, check out their baked items. Steel Orchard is on County Road 1141. Looking for something to do for the entire family. Boy, this has been a busy mm -hmm. several weeks now. The mother-daughter pajama party and the father-son night out are coming up a week from tomorrow night, the 17th. Birthday and special occasion ice cream cakes are available at Dairy Queen. Um, they have those in pretty much any flavor you can think of. An 8-inch round cake serves about 8 to 11 people, and a 10-inch round serves more than that. And Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue. You can feed the family with the family barbecue pack priced at $15.99. Full pound of barbecue, sides and buns included. BFIT is a fitness facility in downtown Coleman next to Renard's Gallery. It is, they are offering a $50 membership special, but it is month to month. That is not a contract. There's Earl's Body Shop. Voted best automotive repair in Coleman. Of course, they do towing as well as auto body repair located on Highway 31 North. Chesley Oaks Golf Course is open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Seven days a week. They're located in the Fairview area on County Road 1583. They're an 18-hole golf course with a full practice facility and beautifully manicured bent grass green. And there we go with our merchant ads for today. We'll come back and check and see if everybody's selling a celebrating a birthday or maybe an anniversary today right after this. As soon as you've conquered Coco Valley,
There's chocolate to souffle. There's baklava to build from scratch. And bernays to top epic fillets. There is you and your guts. And heat that you can trust. KitchenAid Even Heat technology gives you incredible control over sautéing, melting, and simmering. And the most even baking across all racks. And when everything you try turns out, there's so much more to make. I remember the moment. I'll never forget that moment. That changed my life. At that moment, it hit me. This is why I joined the Guard. We're soldiers, always ready to protect our country. But we've also got communities. Family, friends, neighbors who count on us. I couldn't believe it. I just saved a life. Somebody from my hometown. See what it means to be a citizen soldier at NationalGuard.com. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Fire. Accident. Storm. They all happen in Coleman County, and for three generations, Night Free Insurance has been there for you. Continuing today with Elliott and Westcott Free, customizing your life, home, auto, and business insurance with companies like Auto Owners, State Auto, and Southern Guarantee. Call Westcott, Elliott, Judy, Tina, Angie, or Nelda. Night Free Insurance, where people are the difference. Community billboards are brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. Wall State Theater presents Into the Woods. We open tonight, and our shows are tonight, tomorrow night, and Saturday at 7 and Sunday afternoon at 2. Tickets are available at the door, and you can also uh, go by the Borough Center and purchase them there, and it'll be in the Betty Lee Haynes Theater. Art in the Park at Heritage Park. It's on Saturday, April 11th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. They are offering an arts and craft show with demonstrations. If you want to submit um, your art entries to the show, they must be submitted by the, yesterday, the Tuesday. Yeah. A Bikers Charity Ride for Relay for Life will be happening on April 11th at 8 a.m. It's a charity ride and breakfast. You're, they will meet at Hardy's in the Coleman Shop Shopping Center, riding to which would Florence. be Florence, we'll just call it Florence, <laughs> right into the commemorative stone wall in Florence, Alabama. A candlelight vigil will be happening on April 16th at 6.30 p.m. at Coleman Depot Park in remembrance of children who have died from uh, abuse and to pray for current victims and survivors. Get Move In in Coleman County on the Appalachian Trail. The Virtual Step Challenge is running April 1st through May 27th. It is free to the Coleman County community. You can form a team now. Register online at colemangetmovein.fiyi.com. Coleman City Schools Foundation, the 2015 Distinguished Alumni Bearcat Tour and Taste, will be April 17th at 5 p.m. It's $25 in the Coleman High School Auditorium, and they will be honoring um, Teachers of the Year and Distinguished Alumni. Cornerstone Church of the Nazarene is sponsoring the Here For You Tour on April 17th at the Coleman Civic Center featuring the bands Hawk Nelson and The Afters. You can purchase your tickets at itickets.com. The April Walking Tours in Coleman, in, um, will meet at the Coleman County Museum. They'll start every, they will be every Saturday in April. Tours will begin at 10 a.m. and you can be guided through our historical downtown. There it is, the Coleman County City Cleanup will be on April 18th from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, like Ms. Cherie said, they said um, you cannot take tires, paint, or chemicals, and you can call the number at the bottom of the screen for more information and to get those dumpster locations. West Hampton, and the, the, who is the tenor for the Gaither Vocal Band on May 3rd, will be at St. John's Evangelical Protestant Church in Christ Hall. Tickets are $10. Doors will open at 5.30, and the concert starts at 6.00. If you'd like to share a community billboard with us, you can uh, visit our webpage at channel2coleman.com, email us at channel2coleman at gmail.com, call us at 256-734-7399, or like us on Facebook at channel2coleman. We'd like to wish a happy birthday to Liz Harbin, Cindy Walker, and Kanan Shaw, and Don Woods and Jonathan Dodd, whose birthdays were on Wednesday. 
And of course, all of those names will be put into the drawing to win the ice cream cake from Dairy Queen that will be taking place tomorrow. Once again, the weather forecast brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet on Cherokee Avenue. It'll be another warm and humid day today. Just a slight chance of rain, a high of 83. Overnight low tonight, 66. Tomorrow could be a stormy day. Pay attention to the weather tomorrow with a high of just 71 degrees. Mm -hmm. And that's our program brought to you by Premier Bank. Hope you have a great day.